So what is health insurance? Health insurance is a contract between an individual and an entity that provides health insurance. The health insurer agrees to cover some or all the health care costs of the individual in exchange for payment. Why do people need health insurance? Health care is expensive. Did you know the average cost of a three-day hospital stay is $30,000? Or that fixing a broken leg can cost up to $7,500? Having health insurance can help protect you from the unexpected costs like these. Most families do not have the resources to pay hospitalizations in full. Unexpected medical expenses are the most common reason individuals and families declare bankruptcy. Lacking health insurance poses a greater risk of financial catastrophe than lacking car insurance or homeowner's insurance. Under the Affordable Care Act, or ACA, or Obamacare, you pay a penalty when you go without insurance. For 2014, the adult fee was $95, or 1% of income, whichever is greater. The fee for a child is half the adult amount. In 2015, it was 2% of the income, or $3.25 per person. In 2016 and later years, it's 2.5% of income, or $6.95 per person. Most importantly, we need health insurance because it helps keep us healthy so that we may reach our potential in school, work, and life. Let's now talk about what some of the benefits of having health insurance. First, you can receive care early and consistently so that your health condition doesn't worsen and increase your financial burden. For example, asthma is a highly treatable disease with the right care, information, and medication. If proper care is not set out early, asthma can lead to a serious symptoms that may cause hospitalization. Another benefit for having health insurance is that you can live longer and have a better quality of life by saving money, paying for medical emergencies, paying for prescription drugs, paying for dental care, prevent disease through early detection and doctor-recommended lifestyle changes, which in turn saves money, peace of mind by avoiding a lot of out-of-pocket expenses, less lost time at work or, and or school. What is the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare? This slide illustrates the insurance coverage before the marketplace and is for the population under the age of 65 years. Most Arizonans were and still are covered under employer-based health plans. Nearly one in five Arizonans was uninsured before the ACA. Almost 5% Arizonans purchased coverage directly from an insurer. These plans could discriminate based on pre-existing condition and were often unaffordable. Now, because of the Affordable Care Act, both these groups have options they didn't have before. Access eligibility has been restored to the childless adults and expanded to 133% of the federal poverty level. Other refers to public insurance such as TRICARE. So let's talk about the changes that have happened as a result of the ACA. Prior to the implementation of the ACA, insurance companies could deny you coverage if you had a condition prior to enrolling, known as a pre-existing condition. For example, say your child has asthma before insurance plans could refuse to cover your child. That is not the case anymore. Prior to the ACA, your children could stay on your insurance only until 21 years of age. They can now stay on until age 26. Preventative services are now free. For example, as a woman, if you're on a tight budget, what do you do when it's time to have your mammogram? You forego it because it costs too much. Now it is free. And no longer can health plans say, sorry, we're not covering anything else for you this year because you've reached our payout limit. These are multiple coverage options available to Arizonans under the ACA. Access, or Medicaid, in Arizona is a public health insurance coverage based on income and household size. The marketplace created under the ACA has health insurance plans available to individuals who previously did not have access to employer-based and or could not afford to buy an individual plan on the open market. Plans in the marketplace are available with financial assistance, based on income and household size, and without financial assistance. Many people continue to get coverage through their employer and employers. 